How so, you do? Concerts with Jack. So it, it was very interesting at that time when I was like 11th grade, almost 12th grade, and, and I was really playing guitar a lot. To be in a band in high school, yeah. college time, and then and then have people try to like recruit me in a way, that was interesting because I, I was that kid that was started late. Like I was like 9th, 10th grade, and then even then, like for six, seven months, I didn't touch the guitar for shit. You know, <laughs> like 11th grade, 12th grade is when I really started like to practice. And uh, never had a teacher, no one taught me nothing. I just picked that shit up and started teaching my goddamn self. Uh, I would go to Guitar Center all the time and I, I, would, I would pick up the books and I, I would try to mimic my uncle. He had some 1980s fucking book and I'll show it to you. I have it here. I, I bless. I am so blessed to have this because this thing has been through hell. Man. Like fucking hell. This literally comes. I mean, it's so fucked up and it's so beat up and it's so old. Like it's like it's insane. It's crazy. I don't even know how to like to explain it. See. Music. Music is key, people. It's the key to freedom. I'm trying to look for a year here. Music is so old. So when everyone else was, uh, I think it's from like 1989 or something. And I'm from 85, so this thing's been around a while. And th this thing survived a waterfall. This thing was put away with my uncle's stuff. And they put it into uh, like a movable storage, like a U-Haul thing. Like, we owned one of those, and it was brand new. Well, one time, I think they were backing it up or something. And then they hit a corner of the house or some shit happened. And it made like a hole in it. Well, that hole had water coming in and it fucking seeped in and it got wet. Completely wet. And I took the cover out. Thank God that like this thing survived because I can literally like flip through the pages. And this thing actually came with a cassette. Like a cassette like this big. You know, if you ever heard of cassette, Google it. If you guys want to know the book, this is the title. So what ended up happening was all these kids were playing snare songs. And I was influenced by, by the music that got me to bring. Like if I wasn't interested in music like uh, Leap 82 or Metallica, whatever they would cover, Pantera, all the songs I like. But they weren't playing like me. And I just, I borrowed this from my uncle. And then he's like, give me that shit back. This is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone. How can we not talk about family when families are that we knew you were standing there by my side? And now you're gonna be with me for the last one. He's like, give me that shit back. And I had her for like a day. Like, honestly, a fucking day. But I remember the name. It was Troy. I don't know if it focuses. Right there. And I was like, oh, I gotta find something with Troy. Because I, I gotta buy my own thing. So I bought this cassette. I mean, this is old. Like, fucking old. A VHS cassette. And it said, it said like, like shredding or something like that. And I'm like, that sounds like something I want to do. I want to fucking shred. Let's teach me. So I ended up just like practicing the scales and the blue scales and all these things. And I got so good at it that I wouldn't even look. I just, you can see in the video, like I'm just like playing it so quickly. I fell in love with it. Like it, it opened different worlds for me so I could just escape from like reality. And, and that's why, that's why I love music so much. Cause it always does that for me. Like, and I wasn't appreciate that. And before I knew it, all these bands wanted, wanted me to be in their fucking band. It was weird. And then crazy enough, my own fucking band kicked me out. And I created the band. Fuck you, motherfuckers, if you guys see this shit. Fuck you. I was a kid. Fuck you. All right? Everyone else that was cool with me, fuck you too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What's up, people? No, um, and it was crazy because I go to different, like, places, like, literally all over L.A. 